In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to use one of the most fun and strong attack strategies at Builder Hall 6, that is using the Boxer Giants and the Cannon Carts. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jason with Gaming here. I hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, it's going to be a fun one. We're talking about the Builder Hall 6. Boxer Giant and Cannon Card Strategy. This is what the army composition looks like. Um, if it's There's really only one variation of this, and that is if it's an open base, or there's not really walls that are really just blocking it off and blocking an entry, you can go ahead and bring some extra giants in there, or you can bring additional cannon cards. It's really personal preference. But for the most part, you're mainly gonna be using a composition that looks like this. And uh, it's really fun to use and very consistent. As you can see from my battle log here, uh, for the most part, I win almost every single every single attack. Uh, so it's very good at a minimum of getting two stars. And we're gonna be breaking it down and showing you how to use it today in this video. So if you guys learned something, if you enjoy it, um, if you guys use it yourself, I would appreciate it if you guys could leave a like and subscribe. It really would mean a lot to me. So the plan is I'm gonna be do breaking down two replays, just showing you how to use it and the thought process. And then we're gonna be doing live attacks for the rest of the video. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and break down the first attack here. So some things to keep in mind is one, the thing that you want to take down the fastest and the one you really just want to be the most careful of is the mortar. And the reason being is because the mortar is very good at taking out your cannon cards and the cannon cards are going to be delivering the majority of your damage here when using this attack strategy. And number two, you want to stay away from the crushers for as long as possible. And the reason being is because the crushers are very good at taking out your battle machine as well as your giants. So you want to try to avoid those for as long as possible. This base is a perfect example of a base where you don't need to bring uh, the wall breakers, but unfortunately I did. I placed them down, my troops down too early. Uh, in this case, you could easily bring uh, six boxer giants and six cannon carts because it's an open layout where the walls don't constrict your entry. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and use the battle machine and we're gonna use the ability right away. And the reason being is because we wanna go ahead and set that cooldown timer down as soon as possible. After that, we're gonna place on the giants. The giants are just gonna go ahead and act as that front line, tank up a lot of the damage and just distract the defenses. After the giants are placed down, we're gonna go ahead and place down the cannon carts and the wall breakers to go ahead and help us push into the base and really start doing some serious damage to all the, all the buildings within the base. So as you can see, we angled our attack closest to the mortar because we want to get that taken care of as soon as we can. And so as the cannon carts and the, and the rest of the troops are pushing to the base, uh, we're really just trying to do as much damage as possible and keep our battle machine alive. And the reason being is because our battle machine is pretty much a tank that never stops healing. So it's great to just keep it alive uh, for as long as possible. And so now we've, we've destroyed most of the defenses. It looks like the crusher is going to go ahead and, and all the crushers are destroyed so now it just leads up to that last archer tower which just fell so that's gonna be gg and that's a perfect example of how you want to use this attack strategy just use the tanks and really just destroy as many of the defenses as you can before most of your main tanks go down such as your giants as well as your battle machine and then after the majority of those defenses are down uh, you should be pretty much set so that's gonna be it for replay number one let's go ahead and cover one more and then we're gonna be doing live attacks for the rest of the video Alrighty guys, so on this one, we're actually going against a Builder Hall 8, and as you guys are probably familiar with, in Builder Hall, you don't get to choose who you get matched up with, it's just a matter of fact, it is a pretty rushed Builder Hall 8, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and hit this base. So how we did hit it, is first things first, as you can see, the mortar is pretty exposed, as well as this crusher over here is also pretty exposed, so it's looking great already for us to go ahead and hit it with this attack strategy. First things first, put that battle machine down, use the ability as soon as you can to go ahead and reset the timer, follow up with the giants, and then after the giants are placed down and taking the defenses, follow up with the wall breakers and the cannon carts to start doing some serious damage. So at this point, the mortar's already down, this crusher is about to go down as well, and we are already down and, and pretty much defeated a lot of the very important defenses here. So this attack strategy is pretty much just gonna absolutely just crush the rest of this base uh, because there's really nothing here to stop uh, the majority of the tanks nor the cannon carts just doing a ton of damage. So this just shows you that this attack strategy can work against a variety of, of builder hall levels. 
but nonetheless, it just works even better if the base design is pretty poor. So let's go ahead and do some live attacks and see how we do. It is time for the interesting stuff now, guys. Let's go ahead and do some live attacks and really just see who, who we go up against. And uh, it looks like off the bat, we're actually going against another Builder Hall 8. So as you guys saw in the previous replay, we hit a Builder Hall 8. And uh, let's see if we can pull this one off against a Builder Hall 8, which looks a little bit more established and isn't as rushed. So this is going to be interesting. And uh, let's just see how this one goes. So first things first, we're going to try and take out that mortar as soon as we can. And then we're going to kind of be, going to be doing kind of a more of a bottom push here because we want to take out that Builder Hall and at least secure the two star. So let's go ahead and place down our battle machine. Go ahead and get that down. Start placing down some of the giants and getting them in there so let's go ahead and start pushing some of those in all right so we're pushing in here to the core cannon cart there on the on the bottom was a little bit a little bit too deep uh, i didn't mean to place it that down down so far but it's okay so cannon carts are starting to push in that mortar is now going down which is amazing hopefully we can get this crusher down as soon as we can before dick gets another hit yes okay we, we secured that which is amazing our builder machine, I'm sorry, our battle machine is still pretty healthy, which is awesome to see as well. Let's just see what we can really do here. I really hope our one of these cannons at least start okay. So we got the, the we got the builder hall, which is amazing. Uh, that crusher should hopefully go down soon. This all right, battle machine is just going on, on a tour over here. I'm not really sure what he's doing. But it uh, looks like the builder, the builder Hall is about to go down because that cannon. So this is going to be at least a, a two-star, which is awesome. Um, I doubt it's going to be a three-star just because there's so many defenses left. But nonetheless, this was pretty good. Going against a Builder Hall 8 that wasn't that rushed, uh, I really can't complain. Uh, overall, a pretty solid attack. Let's see if we can claim one more building before we go down. And it looks like we are. Let's go ahead and end it there. And 87%, uh, not a three star, but not bad considering it's a Builder Hall 8. And let's see how we did. So that is a, a W, really happy about that one. Let's go ahead and do a couple more live attacks. All right, we're coming off a win. Let's go ahead and see if we can win a couple more and uh, hopefully maybe against a Builder Hall 6 this time uh, because that Builder Hall 8 wasn't so fun. And uh, okay, so this is who we got matched up again against and um all right so first things first we'll be coming from the bottom side because we want to take care of that mortar and uh i can already tell that 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 middle of the base is, is absolutely going to be uh it's going to be a war zone that's for sure so let's go ahead and, and, and start this up and uh, get the party started go ahead and put that battle machine down and uh okay let's go ahead and put some of these giants down and here we have it all right can't uh wall breakers are starting to push in and uh okay let's go ahead and see if we can take care of that mortar as soon as possible come on all right push into the base push into the base all right so i'm gonna go ahead and place on the rest of these uh cannon carts and hopefully that okay the mortar is down which is what i like to see i absolutely hate that building and come on all right let's get this let's get this two star at least nice all right crushers are doing some work to our battle machine Oh, I don't know if it's going to be able to stay alive. It's taking a lot of fire right now. I'm absolutely spamming the ability. Um, all right, so we should be able to get the two-star at least because we have so many uh, troops remaining. So, yep, we got the two-star, which is awesome. And, uh, hmm, I'm shooting for 70% at least here. Uh, that would be ideal because when you when you get that 70% plus range, you're usually in a, in a pretty good spot uh, for the most part. So I'm pretty confident we'll be able to do that. Yep, we got it. And uh, it's not going to be three stars though, which is kind of unfortunate. But nonetheless, hopefully, this should be a win. So I don't think that can. I'm going to go ahead and end it here for time purposes. Hopefully, we went on time, if anything. And it is going to be another victory, which is awesome. 72 to 68. Boom. Broke that magic 70 number. Got the W. Let's go ahead and do a couple more and uh, finish out. Let's see if we can get the hat trick here. We're coming off two wins. Let's see if we can get one more to close it out. I have a feeling this one's going to be an interesting one. And uh, it, sure enough, it is. Uh, this looks like a, a very, very maxed base. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know about this one, to be honest. It's going to be a... Uh, it's going to be... It's going to be tough. But uh, nonetheless, I think... I think we can do it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to swap out the, the pretty much the wall breakers here and go ahead and, and get 
an extra cannon cart and let's see how we want to approach this so what we're going to go ahead and do first is we're going to place it on the battle machine and what he's going to do is just go ahead and walk around the corner here and now we're going to take a little bit more of a tactical approach on this one and uh, really see how much damage we can do to this base so we're just going to let our battle machine tank initially and then let's go ahead and place our giants here as he starts to take down that crusher okay oh man the battle machine's already dead but i don't know this is this is going to be this is going to be very rough hopefully that mortar goes down very soon okay the mortar's down as long as there's not any huge traps here in the middle i'm pretty confident we have an absolute wall of cannon carts uh, i don't know guys to be honest it's a lot it's a wait okay maybe one more star one more star okay we got the two stars at least and okay a couple cannon carts remaining they're still up a couple still alive uh i don't know hopefully we can break that magic 70 number we're at 69 percent right now and all right so we're definitely gonna break 70. we got the cannon cart there on the bottom i don't know if he can get some more more percentage uh no he's not let's go ahead and end this for times purposes 72 percent we got 72 on the last one and boom let's go so i'm not sure what that guy did um i feel like he should have won he that, that looked like a very strong base builder hall seven and uh yeah that base was was really no joke on the on the defenses it looked like but boom let's go that's a hat trick three on the day and uh three in a row three dubs let's go and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please leave a like and comment and subscribe of course if you guys want to join my discord ask me any questions check out the link in the description and uh awesome guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one